Okay, in honor of a couple people I met on the street last night, New Year's Eve, let's do the following two words. Let's start with the word drunk. D. R. U. N. K. These are the simplest possible combinations for the word. You can also connect the N like so if you like. You can connect out of that side there. But the N is allowed to connect out of this point if, if done properly. So, drunk, and now we've got idiot. I. D. I. O. T. Now, this, I'm using this one right off the bat, but so many people get to this and they go ID, and many people go, well, how do you connect the, the D and the I? you got an I cup. Do you try to encapsulate it all? Well, yes, you can. When you're coming down, you can make it small and try to catch the whole thing. That does work. Um, your other option is to draw the I over top of the D like so. And the final option would be if you're coming down with a word line and you draw your D, and then you can extend a word line under it and draw your I. But then people go, well, how do you know this is a D? You add a little dash to make it clear. This is not the, the dash in the middle of the D. So basically you would draw your D like that and your word comes through like that. You understand? This makes it unambiguous. So we're, let's tr draw these words quickly here. Um, let's try to make drunk look nice here. So D, R, first we can connect the two points, that dash on the top of the R, on the top of the D. And now we can put a U. Um, the other thing we can do is when we come down like so, we can... Well, it's really hard to do U's. Yeah, you really do have to separate them and then NK. We can also try putting the NK into the U like so. So if we put them inside of the U, I think that might look a little bit better. Let's make it nice and big. D, R, U, drunk. Okay, I'm kind of liking that version. We'll stick with that for now. We don't have a lot of time at the moment. Idiot, let's try to make it look nice. I, D, I, O, T. Okay, I kind of like that. It looks like a person, so let's make the, the O larger and the rest of it less dominant, so I, D, I, O, T. Now, I'm not sure why that symbol on top of his head means he's stupid, but I've decided it does. <laughs>